everyone, let's talk about nuclear energy. Philippines, undoubtedly, has many various sources of energy that certainly helps Filipino people to perform daily activities. However, these energy sources, in spite of their advantages, has environmental consequences. In generating electricity from hydroelectric power plants, the habitats of aquatic organisms are badly affected and could cause drought. At the same time, wind possess inconsistency. According to DOE, an increase of 10.2% rate in electrical consumption was displayed during the year 2016 in the Philippines. The consumption rate was from 82 million megawatts per hour going to 91 million megawatts per hour, leading to the El Nino incident last year. Bothered enough? Don't worry! Nuclear energy is generated from splitting uranium atoms, creating a chain reaction which produces very large amount of energy. In 1976, our country had a complete nuclear power plant in Morong, Bataan, but never launched due to some controversies. One of the issues is it was built near a major geological fault line and close to the endormant Mount Pinatubo. Given that, it will be not too difficult for Filipinos to build a large physical structure. In a span of six decades, scientists had proven that nuclear power is a safe and sound source of energy. In fact, nuclear power is an eco-friendly source. Why? How come? It do not emit greenhouse gases such as methane gas and carbon dioxide. It also prevents the occurrence of acid rain, smog, and global warming. According to the Department of Energy, nuclear power is the solution for Philippines' energy crisis. The Philippine National Research Institute prioritized Filipino in case that the project is to be launched. PNRI conducts seminars and trainings for Filipinos about nuclear science and technology for more details and for them to be open in the national discussion. That's all, everyone, and thank you.